Good day. I am Janza Biolahil and today we will be having two experiments which is for diffusion and osmosis. Now we will be having two setups which is setup A and setup B. For setup A, the materials that we are going to need are vinegar, hot water, cold water, ink, and measuring spoon. For setup B, the materials that we are going to need are the following. A glass, eggs, and vinegar. For setup A, I observed that there is a significant difference of how the ink or the color moves through the different temperatures. This is an example of diffusion. Diffusion is the process of scattering the molecules from a greater concentration to a lesser concentration. And in this case, the greater concentration is the ink or the color, while the lesser concentration is the water. The ink in the glass of hot water diffused a lot faster and mixed a lot faster than in the cold water. It is also noticeable that the ink in the glass of cold water just sink at the bottom of the glass, whereas the ink in the um, glass of hot water mixed and was moving. This is because the water molecules in the glass of hot water has more energy in it, thus making it move faster and making the color spread faster. When the vinegar was added to the glass of hot water, I was not able to see any significant difference to what it was before the vinegar was added. For setup B, this is an example of osmosis. Osmosis is the diffusion of water through a selectively permeable membrane, like cell membrane. The egg was soaked in vinegar and the longer it stayed on the vinegar, the more physical change happened. The shell slowly dissolved as it continued to bathe into vinegar and there were bubbles around it. After 48 hours, when I took out the egg, I also noticed that the egg is much larger than what it was before soaking it into the vinegar, and it is also larger compared to a raw egg. The changes in the egg happened because of the higher water concentration of the vinegar compared to the egg. To reach equilibrium, the water molecules from the vinegar moved inside the egg and entered through a semi-permeable membrane. And also, the proteins aren't exiting the egg because the membrane or the cell membrane is just semi-permeable. 